But they still keep them at the, uh, keep them in the squad because they know at certain times you're going to have to bring them into the team because of suspensions, because of injuries, and they can come in and do a solid job. Now, whether John's going to be a regular Manchester United side at any position, time will tell. But I also agree with John. I think his best position will be the, a right back position because he's extremely good coming forward. He's got good pace about him, good uh, athleticism. He's tall, he can win balls in the air uh, and Gary Neville's not going to go on forever and this is a player who I think Sir Alex at some stage will put into that Alright, OK, G give me your uh, prediction before we go to George. Well, I, I, you know, I, I think Manchester United are going to win today. I think they're going to get back to winning wins. They must start if they want to win the, the Premiership this season. John? Well, I think Man U might start, uh, would start favourites, Bill, with the players that they've got. Uh, but I must be honest, if Bolton won, uh, I wouldn't be that terribly surprised. Alright, let's see what happens. Let's go to uh, the Reebok Stadium. Jim Beglin and George Hamilton. Thank you very much. Good afternoon to Greater Manchester. It's uh, almost a local derby. It's just 20 miles up the M61 motorway and you arrive at the futuristic looking Reebok Stadium where Bolton Wanderers have been at home for several seasons now but have yet to beat Manchester United in this their new home. The last time they did beat them, as you've heard, was a long time ago, almost 26 years in fact, Christmas 1978, back in the old Burnden Park. That's uh, where they were when they last beat Manchester United in a home game and that was by three goals to nil. They have, of course, a more recent past one at Old Trafford, but not here at the Reebok Stadium. Now, you might remember him from the Olympics. He's uh, a local lad. He boxes a bit, and he came back with that medal. I watched some of it over there. He was fantastic, I mean, can, and he deserves the ovation he's getting from his uh, hometown crowd. Fantastic for him. Bringing the Olympics home to Bolton. Uh, he's delighted, uh, they're delighted, and they hope that there's maybe a medal for them at this afternoon's performance. Though uh, there's another Olympic uh, medalist, the gold medalist on the pitch today, and that is the new left back for Manchester United, Gabriel Ainsa, who won gold with Argentina. Yes, he had a, such a successful Olympic, such a popular young man, only 17 years of age and proud to wear the Bolton colours and be fated here among his own folk. Can number one, and why not? And there in the centre circle to take part in the, in the pre-match uh, presentation. It has a bit of a feel of a country fair about it, I have to say. The long way from Old Trafford. And this fella's only just arrived at Old Trafford three months after being transferred from Paris Saint-Germain where they finished second in the league and was voted the toughest defender in France last year. That's Ainsa, runner-up in the Copa America for Argentina, winner of the Olympics for Argentina. They won the final in Athens. He's played over 12 internationals for Argentina in the summer, so he, he hasn't exactly been uh, idle. But uh, the first time he met his Old Trafford colleagues was at the start of the week. And it's interesting to note that he, making his debut, is one of uh, three Four players making their first start for Manchester United this season. Wes Brown hasn't played at all, Ruben Nistroy hasn't played at all, and Phil Neville has had four substitute appearances, only one of those in the Premiership. And Roy Keane hasn't been an ever-present either, though as we all know, he made his return in Basel on Wednesday night. JJ Okocha will face this man today, Ruben Nistelrooy. Had a hernia operation, wasn't thought that he'd be back for a bit, but uh, back he's come because uh, Alex Ferguson feels it's time they started winning on a regular basis. They've only scored three goals in the Premiership this season, Manchester United in their four games. So a standing ovation for the Olympic medalist from Bolton. And the serious business of the football can get underway. Bolton, without their regular left back, Ricardo Gardner, who's only back yesterday from international duty with Jamaica, and they figured he wasn't uh, fit enough to take a place, or in the right frame of mind, indeed, to take a place in the lineup. So he sits it out, and uh, they have uh, full backs of Nicky Hunt and Anthony Barnes. Hunt at right back and Barnes at left. Bolton will face the Manchester United team that kicks off the top. Scorer in English football this season is Alan Smith. Two Premiership goals and three in Europe. A fiery start for the former Leeds United man. In the Bolton Wanderers team today, Gary Speed, the most experienced player in the Premiership. Ainsa, challenged by Davis, throws to Manchester United. 
which it gives me the opportunity to repeat the stat about Gary Speed is making his 500th career start in a match that's been refereed by Matt Messias from York and Gotti challenged by Van Nistelrooy it's come to Barnett and back it goes to Jaskalainen in the Bolton goal straight down the middle towards Davis holding off Silvestra flicked on there by Nolan then it's Okocha Nolan Davis uh, sold his defender short Ainsa with a chance to raid forward and then brought down by Campo a free kick to Manchester United how about an easy early touch for Ainsa he'll feel a little bit better after that I think that's going to be very important for Bolton today playing off Davis as ever and they do that very well and I think Manchester United if they don't win the first ball off the centre forward who's very effective in the Bolton system they've got to be looking to pick up the seconds Ainsa looking for Cleverson Philip Neville and Gotti underneath it and out it goes for a throw to Manchester United Roy Key Smith first touch let him down Neville goes in Smith Barnes Roy Keane to send it back there's no one there to threaten for United and Jaskalainen will take control the day is somewhat breezy outside but it's uh, not all that chilly still autumn time in the northwest of England you wouldn't notice the breeze in the bowl that is the Reebok Stadium Ainsa and Neville sees it back to Howard. But you can just see the way Bolton play. Um, yeah, it's great when Okocha gets it and sprays it about and you know scores his spectacular goals. But you often see the long ball from Bolton as well, trying to play off off Davis. You'll see Nolan tuck it in and Pedersen from the left side tuck it in like that as well, and it's very very effective. Here's Okocha and uh, rolled it out for the throw off Giggs. took the throw, it's now Keane and Speed uh, shouldered him out of the way Okocha and Pedersen come in from that left wing, it's left the room for Neville to push forward, Cleverson ahead of him Alan Smith comes short this is he, back again for Neville Scholes, Roy Keane available in the centre circle Scholes hurried him into the pass, Giggs a little bit too Adventurous. Nolan lost the possession. Hunt. A little tug on Giggs. Free kick to Manchester United. Uh, Giggs just stopped and wanted the free kick. I think he probably could have kept going. It wasn't that strong from Nicky Hunt. And then this little waits in the penalty area. So to Alan Smith. for the Bolton defenders to be brought back the requisite distance not those ones, the ones nearest the ball Giggs flinging it in too high for Van Nistelrooy ironic cheers for the Bolton fans and out of play it goes for a throw to the home team I was unlucky that and Van Nistelrooy doing what he likes to do just kind of hanging in that offside position then gets back on just as it's been taken Manchester United bench there Ronaldo at the back uh, among the substitutes who Hasn't got a start today because he was away in World Cup duty as well. Van Nistelrooy, Smith, Giggs, and it's Ngotti to see it away. Bolton looking a little insecure. They shouldn't have allowed Van Nistelrooy to turn. That was very sluggish at the back from him. Throw to come from Neville. Smith, Neville. Everson, Jaskalainen and stretching and giving away the corner. The early pressure coming from Manchester United. Sylvester moves on. Corner taken short for Giggs. Blocked by Speed, who's a little agitated with those around him. 
tell you, George, they got away with it again, Bolton. They were completely asleep when United took the short corner. Enter. Enter's cross, seeking Van Nistelrooy. Barnes took it away from him, but it's another throw to Manchester United. He looks like a, a, a bit of a threat as a, a cross of the ball as well as everything else. Throw from Neville. So Gotti to head away. Job completed by Patterson. Davis against Brown. And then it's Sylvester all the way back to Howard. Keen it is. Sylvester. Giggs. And the smart turn didn't fool Hunt. Nolan. And Davis was on the wrong foot when the pass came. And it's gone for a goal kick to Manchester United. Well, I think he's impressed on his players the need to start Brighton here because Bolton won't be shy in going after Manchester United. You know, they're very buoyant after such a good start. And uh, United will need to have their focus about them and really need to apply it. Can't afford to lose any more ground. That was Jaidi, the Tunisian defender. Campo. Uh, pulled back by Cleverson. Free kick for Bolton. Campo looking for Davis. Got the winner against Liverpool. I mean, there was talk, wasn't there, last season for a little bit that you know Davis might even get an England cap, but very effective in the system that he played. Right? Centre forward needs to be scoring more goals than he gets there. Nolan forward, Davis beaten by the pace of Sylvester, who's happy enough to shepherd it out of play for a throw to Bolton. Jaidi, 45 times a Tunisian international. A target for Okocha's throw, but it's Davis he's gone for. Ainsa kept it in play, seeks Van Nistelrooy, who controlled it well, but uh, illegally. Ainsa was his shoulder, the referee was looking face on and saw the use of the arm. And Gotti with the free kick. Nolan. Back for Davis. Jaidi at the back, forcing possession of the corner for Philip Neville. Better for Bolton. First corner for them. Eight and a half minutes in. JJ Okocha. Speed scampering around the box. Okocha. It's away by Silvestre, it's back in again by Barnes, cleared by Cleverson, and this time it'll be on Nicky Hunt. Send it back forward again. Pedersen couldn't control it. Goal kick to Manchester United. El Hadj Juf on a season's loan from Liverpool and in the squad for the first time today, and on the bench, like Ronaldo. Feed. Jaidi, Jaidi, Nolan, Campo, Keane in the way. And there's the old Roy Keane, the awareness of where everybody is, and the pass straight to Philip Neville. Scholes, back again for Neville. the support from Cleverson's in his tool and he's found him. Cleverson against Ngotti for Neville. Scholes stands back. That's 
uh, found its way to Nolan and Nolan invites Pedersen to test the pace of Brown a race that Manchester United man was likely to win at all times Sylvester Keane and Keane picking out Neville again United look much better in possession Cleverson Scholes Ainses on the touchline Smith, Scholes, Ains has made a run, Scholes checks the other way, back again for Neville. Keane. Keeks. He's the head of speed, then Campo tussling. And Brown wins it back. And it's Sylvester. And Sylvester's found Ainsa, and Ainsa, well, maybe he was trying to love the goalkeeper I'll be kinder to he just overhit his pass at uh, either Smith or Van Nistelrooy I don't think he was thinking about goal in that instance well, uh, he should be back for the Liverpool game Rayo Ferdinand John O'Shea sitting this one out through injury Manchester United's options getting better as the season progresses Silvestra, who, in the absence of Ferdinand, still policing the centre of defence. Keane, Ainsa. Unless you're wondering about uh, the pronunciation of his name, it was a subject of considerable debate uh, before the game as to precisely what he should be known as. Obviously, of German extraction, Heinze would be his name, but in Argentina, they call him Ainsa and they don't really pronounce the H. And that's straight from the horse's mouth. Keane Giggs Oh Van Nistelrooy Well he is playing for the first time this season Give him his, his due Well it wasn't meant for him I mean I think he did well to, to read the misplaced pass From Giggs I mean that's why he is playing Because class and experience will outweigh his, his lack of fitness that's what Alex Ferguson is hoping for and that's why he and Brown are in the lineup because they just need the points United Cleverson Pedersen the challenge and, uh, he won the throw I think the appeal for the throw was more in hope than anything else but he got it but now Manchester United with the ball back Van Nistelrooy Cleverson Giggs chasing through the middle, but the pass a little too long. Push by Davis and Sylvester. It's him all the time though, isn't it? They're just looking for him with the longer ball. They haven't really tried to work speed or a cotcha in. And uh, United have dominated the central midfield area. Keenan's goals look more comfortable. And you would have thought with Bolton having the extra man advantage there that they might have had more of an impact. Come off Brown's head, Hanks has gathered it in. Keen for Cleverson. On for Van Nistelrooy. Back for Neville. Scholes. Keen. Giggs. Trying to find Smith, and he has done. Smith! Straight at the goalkeeper. It's great strength from him because, you know, he's got a man tight to him. In fact, I think Jaidi was too tight and he rolled him easily. Unfortunately, it's straight at Jaskalainen. At the other end, uh, Davis going through, couldn't hold off Brown. It's Keane, Cleverson, Keane again. I think you've seen a different Smith as well, George. I mean, without the other strikers to help out with him, Scholes has like been playing off him. But now he's dropping that little bit deeper. Van Nistelrooy will lead the line. And I think you'll probably see a different side to Alan Smith in the United Colours today. There he is again, just dropping a little bit. That's Scholes. On for Keane. Cleverson, Keane. Scholes. 
misread uh, what Ryan Giggs was up to or misinterpreted what the plan might be. That's the only thing you could say about United up to now. That's that's not right. Maybe that you know they've been a bit wasteful as they've tried to play people through. Three or four of those have gone astray. The rest looks very comfortable. Davis smiling hates it. Giggs feeds Scholes. And Scholes has a go. He's turning away from the goal. Davis, Everson for Keane, Philip Neville. It's it. Van Nistelrooy, Giggs. Johnny got in to deny Van Nistelrooy. Now it's a cut shot. For Pedersen. Support from speed. Pedersen to drill one in. And straight at Brown. Smith against Barnes. As Pedersen finds speed. Jaidi. Kocha. Well, they love that. And he's found Gary Steed. And speed tries to get Davis through. But his part in it wasn't as accurate as had been Okocha's. And they love the flourishes from JJ Okocha. Well, I think the important thing, I mean, that's the flamboyance we know he can produce. He's adding goals to it this season. Didn't get one Premiership goal last season, got three already this. I thought Gary Speed could have taken it on, maybe have a blast with his left foot. One by Ngotti, back again by Brown. Now it's Cleverson. Never. Helping it on, and Jaskalainen leaving his area to make sure that the danger passed. But I'm not happy with the linesman's involvement in that. I think the Mr. Rove was offside. Side flags up this time. Hasn't Keen been very clever there? I mean, I think it is correct on this occasion. A couple of them were offside, certainly Van Nistel were. But Keen's distribution's been excellent. You commented on his awareness already. I mean, he knows exactly what's around him and when. I, mean, I, I think another reason as well for his more subdued performance in in Basel was the I think the Swiss played him very well I think they looked at Ireland and thought who can dictate Roy Keane we won't let him it's Campo Akocha too many red shirts around him Alan Smith the one who emerges with the ball Smith Van Nistelrooy Cleverson under too much pressure from Campo throw to Bolton He's got to start making more of an impression though this season, Cleverson. He knows what it's all about now. English football, he's had a year, knows what's required. He's got to start delivering. Except won it, Stoles has it. Neville breaks forward.
Keen. Cleverson. Keen. Giggs. And Okocha and Zaidi winning it back. Now it's Okocha. Davis makes a run on the right, then checks and receives. Okocha. Pedersen. Speed. Ultimately, it was Neville's challenge that denied him. Okocha, though, gets it back from Smith. Arnes. Campo. Looking for Davis. Silvestre did the needful. It all broke down from Ryan Giggs again. I don't think he's coming in off the flank with any great effect at the moment. I mean, it seems to be breaking down off him quite a bit. He lost out there to Hunt. Ainsa. He's a man with determination. I think he's made a very good start. I mean, a, he looks very composed, picks a good pass. And, uh, he's not, not afraid to go in where it hurts, but I think Giggs could have a bigger bearing on the game. I think he's been a little, a little wasteful. Well, should you consider what Ains has done all summer, all those internationals, be they uh, Copa America or Olympics, he's, he's certainly not lacking in match fitness. Well, he says he doesn't want to rest, he just wants to keep playing. Okocha. It's Davis. It's gone out. Okocha. <laughs> the entertainer. The entertainer surrounded by a couple of artisans. Giggs. Campo with the BP challenge. It uh, seemed perfectly okay, but Matt Messias didn't think so. Yeah, it's a poor decision. I thought Campo played the ball. Keane. Ainsa away by Jaidi only as far as Smith Scholes midway through the first half no goals at the rebound yet Claberson dramatic ball no foul Okocha through Campo speed Varnes and that was meant for Nolan done that a few times now Bolton over hit a little ball down the line like that as a caught you with his very unique blend of skill how do you read that the problem sometimes is that his own teammates don't read it either he's one, he's one of those but he doesn't know what he's up to I mean he, he can change his mind the last moment and produce God God knows what Both his throat. I, Cleberson, I've commented on him already. I, I think he can do more. I think he can take more care with his passing and his control. And I think Giggs too. I think the two wide players from Manchester United are not giving him enough. That loft house, the great Bolton stalwart of what was it, the 40s and 50s, certainly the 50s anyway. But uh, one of the stands here, the one to the right as we look, is the that loft house stand, and uh, he's a proud supporter still of his hometown club. Great centre forward. Do you want to put uh, Ray Wood, the Manchester United goalkeeper, into the net to the cup final? You're a little older than me, but I think you might be right on that one. I know, you weren't around. 57? 58. I'll bow to you on that one as well. Now there were a 
few guys in the hotel in Basel after the game who were wrecking our heads with questions. I know you like the odd quiz questions as well, but I'm sure if, if that statement wasn't correct, uh, there'll be a letter in the mail from one of them. Campo. Got the free kick. Davis against Keane. Keane and Hainzer. Campo in the way now, Okocha. Jaidi. Vares. Nolan coming around the back. Hainzer gets it away, but uh, the referee saw a push. And the Bolton number four on the Manchester United number four. Free kick to Manchester United. That's about the first time Bolton have worked somebody into a bit of space to get a decent ball in. Barnes did just that. Good defender from Ainsley. And The little push was there from Nolan. Nolan ain't in the way throw into Bolton and this time it's Ainsa who uh, gets a little bit of purchase on the uh, shoulders of Kevin Nolan Bolton push their centre forward, centre halves into centre forward positions. Jaidi up. Free kick swung in. And Howard comes and makes a good catch. Neville now. Scholes, Neville again. Brown. Sylvester Kane Cleverson Keane Scholes Barnes got just enough of a touch on it to take it away from Smith Singotti Neville beating Nolan or Pedersen rather it's Neville again Scholes now Keane Smith speed challenge back to Smith Smith given away it's now a Kocha but there's only Pedersen as Davis ahead of it so he has to hold it and wait for support and support comes from Nolan Nolan the early ball in towards Davis opportunity lost and what a ball as well from Nolan that's a fantastic ball between defence and goalkeeper it's crying out for Davis to get on the end of he's coming in from the left flank but he just doesn't have the pace to be able to get there in time he did try but I mean it was symptomatic I think of United's performance good possession but they keep on wasting it when they get around the Bolton box and from that Akocha was able to break and he held it up beautifully until Nolan supported Campo Nolan Campo again away by Brown Bolton throw. Jaidi up again. Okocha to take the throw. Howard's there with the fist. Oh! Hunt got right underneath it not to say that if it had been on target it would necessarily have found a way past the cluster of bodies in there it's a great ball in him he might as well be taking a free kick and Gary Speed was the one very good in the air made the run across Howard and made it extremely difficult for him to get good purchase it was difficult when it arrived at Hunt's feet 
I think he thought he would have been seeing more chances today. Well, whatever about him and points in the ring, uh, Bolton are hardly ahead on points in this one. Okocha. Patterson couldn't control it, it's Brown. He has forced Brown into concession of the throw. by Okocha off Brown's head corner to Bolton as ever it will be Okocha to take it and Bolton push uh, seven players into the penalty area United defending on the goal line as well as on the penalty spot. Okocha to take. Over the head of Davis and uh, nobody there to retrieve it. It's Van Nistelrooy. Barnes did well. Gets in. Away by Jaidi. Skulls intercepts. Keane. Brown. Cleverson. Never. That's Brown. Ainsen. Campo. This possessed by Smith. And, uh, well, oh, there's a little bit of afters after the ball had gone. The referee wasn't given the free kick. But uh, Smith took advantage of, of Campo's lethargy. And Campo didn't like the fact that he was uh, caught like that. Well, first view of that, I hope the referee doesn't produce yellow. I mean, Campo's at fault. He got caught. And, uh, he had a real kick out at Smith. Smith wasn't happy in it. There was nothing malicious in it. I hope the referee has a bit of common sense about this and just gives him a little talking to. Which is exactly what he's done. That is the problem with Campo though, George. I mean, sometimes he thinks he's Maradona and a little bit of skill will get him out of trouble. It's true. I mean, if he keeps things nice and simple, he can be a very good player in this formation for Bolton. But sometimes he just dwells on it far too long and things like that happen. Fans wanted him yellow carded for a handball, but Cavers gave him a nudge. Scholes, Smith, Cleverson. Scholes managed to stay outside. Here's Paul Scholes. Jeska Line and that's Cleverson. Well, the uh, linesman didn't give an offside against Scholes. Bolton protests. It would have counted. I thought he was onside. I thought when Cleverson flicked it through, I thought he held his line really well. I thought it's good strength as well to shake off and got it. And at that stage, the angle was tight for him, and Lascalina made a good save. Cleverson couldn't follow it up, but I thought it was onside. Cleverson, Kocha. Pedersen defended there by Brown and Silvestra. Davis, Silvestra away. And Davis 
happy to shield it and let it go out for a throw. And they can expect another long one from JJ. Speed has returned it and Campo with the hand free kick to Manchester United. I think United have defended that very well, that longer ball to Davis. I mean, and invariably they haven't won it directly. And they have followed it up very, very well, which I said early on was important for them today. Pass goals. Back for some more. Oh. Needed someone to swoop down on the trapeze to take advantage of that. Well, it's that kind of match, isn't it? It's scrappy at times. United are the better side, much better in possession. And need to improve in the final third and Bolton really haven't got themselves going they're just kind of hitting hope really too much Smith <laughs> and a punch of court uh, skulls there Brought to one side by the referee, and the card is coming out for that. Is it? Well, he went for his uh, pocket and then he changed his pocket. Uh, to be honest, that, he made very little contact with those goals, but uh, he was silly to make the lunge because the ball had well gone. Smith challenged by Nolan. Now Potch has got it, and Smith gets it back from him. Uh, by Ngotti. Now it's Keane, challenged by Akocha. Pedersen comes in. Keane gets there ahead of Akocha. Akocha's in chase. He felt something was going to happen there. And the card is out this time for JJ Akocha. I think Akocha's furious because Roy Keane raised his foot very high. And I think he wanted a free kick against Manchester United for that. And that's why he gave chase so strongly and just clipped Roy Keane's heels. And I think had he not attempted the foul and Paul's goals before, he probably would have got away with that. But that's why he's seen yellow. And the challenge of Roy Keane means a free kick to Manchester United. Six and a half minutes to the interval. The sun comes out in Bolton. Giggs takes the kick. Campo defends. Giggs has another chance. In. Neville. Neville. And the booze now start up for Roy Keane. It'd be great. Uh, local town pride in Bolton Wanderers and of course they, they wouldn't have a lot of time for the perceived aristocrats from down the road I would dearly love to put one over on them well that wasn't one of his better goals but I mean he's totally dominating the midfield for me today I think that's why you're seeing Okocha get frustrated and this time it's Roy Keane leading with the forearm into the back of Kevin Davis means a free kick to Bolton Wanderers.
clearances by Cleverson. Only Van Nistelrooy ahead of him. Giggs is joining the attack. Cleverson's cross. Giggs arriving and uh, Hunt had to defend it. He's done well and that was all from Bolton set piece. Probably the best thing Cleverson's done. And certainly since he got close goals in earlier on. to the box for Manchester United Giggs corner Ainser away of Campo Cleverson for Keane Giggs available on the touchline five red shirts in that penalty area Giggs taking on Davis Giggs cross Van Nistelrooy maybe not enough power to trouble the Oscar line and who made the save Oh, that's the first time Giggs is running his man. That time it was Davis back trying to help out, and power was the only thing it lacked. If he could have generated a little more power than this, Leroy, United would have been one up. I was just saying, in the space of a minute, we saw a decent cross from Cleberson, which United got the corner off, and then Giggs take his man on and, and whip one in. I, mean, I think we need to see more of it. They've been too quiet throughout this opening 45. Barnes intercepting Brown's forward pass. Brown in again. It's Smith, Cleverson, and Smith, Neville, and Scholes. Brown, Sylvester. Ryan. It's now Anson. Sylvester. Lady did better there than Smith. Keane, speed, got away from Keane, and then it's Nolan and Pedersen. Bacaccia through the middle. Pedersen's cross. Oh dear. I'm just thinking, George, has Tim Howard had anything serious to stop? He's had to come for a couple of crosses, all right, but Bolton, as the home side, just haven't tested him enough. Smith. And Lisa Roy taking on Ngoni. And the defender did the necessary, and it's a corner for Manchester United. Well, Alex Ferguson will want to see more of that. Smith dropping short. It's a great spot to pick out Van Nistelrooy, and I think if you've got a, a fully fit Dutchman there, he probably takes that on and finds the back of the net. He allowed Ngoni to get back. Giggs, Sylvester, Heitzer! He's made himself a hero in an instant. Manchester United's new left back gets the congratulations of the men he hadn't met this time last week. I think a huge amount of credit has to go to Sylvester because many men have given that up as being overhit. Ryan Giggs probably felt he got too much on it. The Frenchman didn't give it up. I think he gets a great header back. And all the, the debutant had to do really was just turn it into the net. But you probably feel they should have had somebody get the foot out to try and prevent it again. That's brilliant from Sylvester. And Davis was a little slow in reacting to allow Ainsett to put the United one in. One up. Gabriel Ainsett scores in his debut for Manchester United. And it's a, a goal that gives them a lead that's uh, really on the balance of the game they deserve. And here's another card for Bolton player. Nicky Hunt for bringing down Ryan Giggs. So Manchester United get a fourth Premiership goal. Two of the others came from Alan Smith and one from David Bellion. And this Leroy hasn't been in the team to score goals for the year, but... <laughs> Bolton fans love that, but uh, he's got to come back and he'll get better. That's why he's in the side, because... Well, he's a bit than this Leroy, because in moments like that, but again, Sylvester, fantastic. And Ainsa, well, he probably can't believe his look, and he was allowed to turn it in so softly. What a debut now. Eh? Just 
stoppage time at the end of the first half. What a day for him. What a year for him. Olympic gold medal. A goal for Manchester United in his first game. Here he is again. Trying to find Giggs. Giggs brought down again by Hunt. See what can happen when you engage the fullback. United now are benefiting big time down the left flank. There's a length. Giggs really kept coming inside all the time and it wasn't productive. Now he's beginning to trouble him. Hugh Fong once more. Scholes and Giggs, the two players closest. Scholes, he got his head, but it's offside. The old Crapper brains trust us. Going to be satisfied about. Well, he's got some talking to do. Last action of the first half is the free kick by Uzi Eskalainen, who conceded the only goal of the half to Manchester United's new left back Gabriel Inter. Goal in his debut, coming in the 44th minute, and it's enough to put Manchester United in front at the break. JJ Okocha's team, long loan signing from Liverpool, El Hadj Juf, and it's Henrik Pedersen who makes way for the second half. What a rising reception he's got. Now, can he do on his first appearance for Bolton what Gabriel Ainsa did for Manchester United in the first half? We shall see. Second half on the way. Manchester United a goal to the good. Pedersen had been playing on the left. Well, that shoot has begun in that kind of area. It'll be the same role. I mean, Pedersen came into the game carrying a knock, and uh, he was a doubt beforehand, and he just didn't look right. I mean, his control was awful, never got involved. Keane. Now, ain't it? It's your best. Ainsa once more. Keen dispossessing Campo. Van Nistelrooy losing out to Jaidi. El Adj Jupe. And down he goes, challenged by Neville and wins a free kick. Well, there was a little bit of contact from Phil Neville, but El Adj Jupe does that an awful lot. You'll, you'll see him diving. A little bit of contact as he goes past. Takes a step, he could have stayed on his feet, but decided he'd have the free kick instead. And to be honest with you, Bolton have looked most dangerous on the odd set piece. And it won't be Okocha this time, it'll be Ivan Campo. Shahidi up for the front men as well. Campo tries uh, route one. A little too high. That's a waste. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's produced nothing for him, and it was a half promising position. Should be looking to pick somebody out just to get a flick on that. He knows it. I just wonder if he gave one or two of his players the hairdryer treatment at half time because Bolton were very lackluster. I'm surprised they didn't go after United more. There's five or six of them out there that could be giving him more. Giggs Campo stepping in to Hunt 
to uh, chase back after it's gone out it's a throw to Bolton there was no free kick awarded Campo Juf Arnes Juf Kocha to measure one to Barnes. Neville is in the way to head it clear. Keane back to Brown. Smith. Yeska Linen had to leave his line to make sure. Davis. The reflection of Keane took the sting out of it, even if it was going to trouble Tim Howard. Run by Angotti, Pococha, speed. In the end, it's Skulls who slides in and finds Ainsip. Giggs wheeling away from one challenge. Hurdling another. Forced to seek support from Ainsip. That's gone straight to Jaidi. Juf. Speed. And Sylvester getting there ahead of Davis. Keane. Neville. I don't think Keane is now. there to break it up for Bolton and find Van Nistelrooy with a very perceptive ball and Hunt uh, just got in ahead of Van Nistelrooy Davis given away to Ainsa Giggs back again for Ainsa well, he had to deliver it quickly well he crafted one opportunity for himself before half time Van Nistelrooy but he needs to get hold of it first it was a great ball through from Roy Keane and if he controlled it well and his first touch was good enough he was in you know It was a heavy challenge from Phil Neville. But it looked as if he got a piece of the ball before contact with Duff. Yeah, he did. I think that's a fair challenge. I think it's another poor decision from Messias. Campo has rolled this one for Okocha. Okocha didn't get hold of the shot. Oh, there's the equaliser. Kevin Nolan. Well, that'll be worth another look. It came right out of nothing. The shot wasn't great, but Nolan followed up. That's what his game is all about, Kevin Nolan. And Bolton haven't kept the ball well enough to be able to give him the opportunity to get in the box like that. I can't tell you whether he's offside, but a cutter miss hit his shot. He certainly pulled it right across goal. But um, he did well to follow it up very quickly, but it was kind in coming back to him so nicely from... It was a good reaction from Harry to begin with. But I don't know whether he was offside or not. So from a set piece, Campo to Okocha, the shot, the follow-up, the equaliser, 1-1. Okay, yeah, he's onside. It's just a mishit shot, he takes his chance. That's what he's good at, gambling getting past the strikers into the box he got good fortune in it coming back to him but he finished it off nicely the free kick shouldn't have been given by the way that led to all that I think Phil Neville made a good challenge well the funny thing is Kevin Nolan makes a habit of doing this against Manchester United you won't need reminding uh, September 2002 Bolton won one nil at Old Trafford Kevin Nolan scored the goal and now he's thrown them a lifeline with the equaliser here 
They want it back again. Now it's Davis. He wants it far too long and allowed Ainsley to arrive. Davis still straight at Howard. He is a bit cumbersome though, isn't he? Well, Sylvester wanted all the time in the world there. I mean, he should have released it much quicker and he got himself in trouble. I mean, he was like that in the European Championships with France. And he was fortunate to get away with that. A completely different complexion on things now. There's a huge buzz around the stadium and, and a spring and bolt and step. Not surprisingly. Kevin Nolan hasn't been among the goals this season yet. That's his first. Looks like he's on a couple of rounds with Amir Khan, doesn't he? But he's delivered uh, quite a punch to Manchester United. Ainsa gets a free kick, fouled by Campo. And it'll be Giggs to take. Kings looking at the flags up, looking for Anissa Roy, but the assistant on this side shot the flag straight up in the air. Free kick for offside to Bolton Wanderers. He got, he got lucky, didn't he? He, did. he got lucky. I mean, okay, if you take a chance, sometimes that works out for you. But Akotcha, it's a pretty poor shot from him. I mean, you can't blame Hart for not being able to direct it away because it comes at him so quickly. All he can do is get in the way of it and hope. And the follow-up was easy. Which is largely what Kevin Nolan did in the first place, was get in the way of a missing shot. But, it sailed into the rigging. It's 1-1, and they're very happy. Akotcha. Challenged by Jaidi, it's a free kick. Hard to legislate against the kind of goal that was conceded there because Howard did make the save, and on another day it could have missed Nolan following up, but it went straight onto his forehead and into the net. exactly what he would have said to his players about you know nothing silly okay they, they didn't give it away but um, all of it <laughs> it's done it again Nolan's intercepted Davis Nolan carries on here's Nolan Davis once more Davis so far away well Sylvester I mean he wants shooting for that because it was him again that's totally careless on his behalf he should keep it simple it's a great opportunity Duff was lurking, I thought he might have gone for a little dink ball in the end, Davis, once he got it back. But uh, it's a great attempt, right across Tim Howard, and it wasn't too far away. No, but I mean, you know, you can see an equaliser, and you just want to keep it simple, make sure your pass gets there. And Sylvester, well, he looks a liability at the moment. They come prepared, don't they? Very noisy place, the rebound right now. I bet she's glad she has cause to use him. Sylvester, come to Okocha. Come to Okocha again! Oh, corner. I think the goalkeeper had it covered. But again, Sylvester could have gone anywhere off him. He's done enough. I mean, Sylvester's just hoping to get something on it and get in the way, but those sometimes can flick into the back of your net. I think the keeper would have saved it. Here's the corner from Okocha. Shaidi missed it. Scholes has got it away. And Nista Roy. A wrong decision by the uh, linesman. Giving it to Bolton. He won't mind. <laughs> I think he might have got it right, and there's no complaints from Van Nista Roy.
speed. A little more momentum from Bolton and who knows what might happen. Well, you don't necessarily have to play the greatest incisive constructive football just to get things going, a little more passion and pride in your performance. And that's what Sam Allardyce is getting now, he's getting a response. Experienced Premiership player 418 times. Make that 419 today. And Bolton win a free kick right on the edge of the box, and it's Sylvester again. He's having a torrid time at the moment. I thought they played Davis very well in the first half. Well, this time you can't do that. He's got his arm, he's pinning him down, he's not giving the centre forward a chance to jump. And very dangerous again for Manchester United. This is Zopacha territory. I mean, it started to rain as well, George, and, you know, you've got a right greasy pitch now. Difficult for goalkeepers. So, Campo stands alongside. Here's JJ Okocha. Well, Howard knew what to expect. He's going for the double bluff, isn't he? He's hoping the goalkeeper's going to move to the other post. He's hoping he's going to move to his left. Done well. Jaidi, and Vince is in. Got a bit loose. Jaidi, Keane, Faberson, Neville, Sugati. Keane makes the challenge. Captain's example. Committed to the last. He needs that kind of response from those around him as well now. Keane against that Stu. And he pushes him over and it's a free kick to Bolton. Well, uh, we're in the middle of the crowd and uh, you have to say they are passionate. Every challenge by a Manchester United player is greeted with a roar of disapproval. And on that occasion, they've got what they wanted, the free kick to their team. With Manchester United in town, you always get a little more passion from the home support. Taken by Ngotti, Davis, Nolan going in there, just couldn't make the contact. Sylvester did it again, you know. I mean, Davis, as he's trying to get on it, Sylvester's just had a little pull at him again with the left arm over his shoulder. There's Campo. And it was Scholes who won it back. Van Nistelrooy. For Giggs. Ainsen. Stopped by Hunt. Is back in defensive mode. And it wasn't a bad clearance because it was to where nobody was waiting for Manchester United. Retrieved by Brown, then it's Keane. And Nistel Roy. Cracked by Ngotti. Back for Ainsen. Keane. Touch, took it away from the Manchester United man. Campo, Keane sliding in, and that intervention has got Manchester United the ball back. Answer. And Roy Keane is certainly uh, back to his tigerish best. I just wonder if the manager's thinking about Ronaldo. Because United need another injection again now. And uh, I think Ronaldo could well provide it. It's a 
certainly Ronaldo for Cleverson would offer a lot more up the right, wouldn't it? Without doubt. Smith. It's away by Ngotti. Neville. Smith. Jane, he just got there. Little touch to take it away from Van Nistelrooy. And Nolan. Vicious ball looking for Davis. Neville will have to use hard. Jaidi see it back to Jaskalina. That's the one thing I thought Bolton would see more of in the first half. I was surprised that they didn't press Manchester United when they were in possession more, and now they seem to be pushing up the field and they're trying to get to him quicker and hurrying them into giving it back to them. Here's the change. A few words of Portuguese from Carlos Queiroz. With Cristiano Ronaldo and the change is being made and it is Cleberson off and Ronaldo on in the 65th minute <laughs> speed but nobody there in white Anthony Barnes, you can you can tell now his mind will be engaged by Ronaldo's appearance all of a sudden. You've got to get your tackles right on this surface now. Higgs misplaced. Hunt for Campo. Campo, the angle of the pass all wrong for Davis. Neville. Gotti fouls Van Nistelrooy, the foot was high. Here's the first touch for Ronaldo. Campo comes to close him down. Brought down by Campo with protests. He's lucky he hasn't got a yellow for protesting too much. Is there a little bit of contact? I think he feels Ronaldo goes down too easily. I agree with him. I think Ronaldo did. So now a chance for Manchester United. Wasn't one of the step overs and a, a tricky run up the wing it was a, a little tumble it's given them the free kick and it's Giggs and the Ascaline and taking no chances the Skulls dispossessed the Barnes and now it's Davis for out due did the necessary speed Davis always under pressure Ronaldo fast Barnes Campos there he tries a little bit of trickery himself. And Ronaldo stops him. And Campo gets a free kick. <laughs> well, you wonder how much of that was, was Campo uh, being in self-indulgent. Or was it to the good of both of deciding that his status was such that he had to impose himself on the young upstart. Bocaccia for Campo. Campo shot. Corner. Well, just as well, United got players to... They were a little slow reacting to begin with, but Giggs, Phil Neville and Scholes all closed them down. And, uh, just as well, it was a touch from someone. Corner taken by Adjuf. Skulls challenges Akocha, it's a throw to Bolton. 
which when Akacha takes it can be as good as a corner kick. Away by Silvestre. And Gotti back to Okocha. Okocha. Oh, it was Silvestre. Hence he got it away. And Ronaldo has it now facing Campo. And this time it's decisive with the tackle. He's doing well. Barnes will certainly be pleased that Campo is coming across to help out and give him a bit of protection. You don't want to allow him one on one. I think Campo's a a man on a mission at the moment now. Well, he feels aggrieved over the little, the little drop by Ronaldo before. This time it's uh, Speed who fouls Keane. Gotcha. Speed. And then for Nola. Stepped out of Smith challenge. Finds Hunt. Davis holding off Scholes. And for Campo. Another goal kick this time and his reaction said it all I mean he had enough space Ains is looking as if he's tiring a little bit to me and his last pass gave it away looks as if he's just feeling it a little bit now the excitement over his debut the goal etc needs a second win yeah rightly over hit which uh, suggests a diminishing concentration. Campo. Hunt. Juf. And uh, Hint says penalised this time. Bolton having a much better second half than they did at first. Well, the worry for United since Bolton equalised is that the game is getting away from them slowly. And, and Bolton are looking a little more likely. I mean, United just need to get possession back and start keeping it for each other again. Something they did so well in the first half, they've just not done it since Bolton got their equaliser. Van Nistelrooy has come back to Mark Okocha. There's the two centre-halves in the box. Campo with the free kick, Roy Keane defends it, Okocha to send it back, and Howard takes it under pressure from Juf. Giggs. Smith. And Smith. Knocks over Campo, who uh, decides to cartwheel away and gets the free kick. I think everybody could lip read what Alan Smith thought of Campo in that instance as well. Not nice. Neville for Van Nistelrooy. Ronaldo. Philip Neville's continued into the attack. Then it's Van Nistelrooy. It's off Jaidi, and it's gone for a throw to Manchester United. Ronaldo. <laughs> and Sam Allardyce has seen a marked improvement in the second half. Free kick against Silvestre.
taken by Angotti. Davis tries to get in there to mix it. He did get a touch, but uh, he was backing into his opponent. It becomes a free kick to Manchester United. Yeah, he was holding Sylvester as well. I think the big difference from Bolton's second half, and I think Sam would have got the message home at half time, is that, you know, Campo, Gary Speed, um, they had to do more in the Kocha in central midfield, and I think they've done that, you know, in, in getting to United a little bit quicker and preventing them from enjoying time on the ball. Ronaldo. And away from Campo. And a shot. Oh, the crossbar saves Bolton. And it ends up as a corner to Manchester United, but what a goal that would have been. That's a stunner. I mean, it's great for him, isn't it? Because he can come inside like that, and he seems equally as strong, and it swerved a little bit. I think Yaskalani got a little touch on that. It's a save. It goes down as a very good save. Just enough to put it onto the crossbar. And Van Nistelrooy, fresh back from his hernia, goes off. And David Bellion, young Frenchman, comes on. 16 minutes to go. Van Nistelrooy, unlikely to last 90 minutes, straight back from his up. That ends up over the top, and it's a goal kick to Bolton. Chance for Sylvester, but I don't believe he thought it was going to arrive on his head. But I mean, I was just laughing at Campo. Campo's done a little more in the second half, and he's he's played a part in thwarting Ronaldo a couple of times. But he just didn't know which way he was going to go, and he fooled him completely. And that's a stunning effort. And well done, Yuski Yaskalainen, because it's a wonderful save. And another change being made. Uh, off goes Kevin Davis, and on goes Les Ferdinand. Yes, still around Les Ferdinand. Now in the colours of Bolton Wanderers. You just wonder who will be taking him on board next season in the Premiership. <laughs> he won't go away, will he, Les? No. Jouf. Ball's out. Cheers, the whistle has sounded against a Manchester United player, in this case Alan Smith. Yaskalainen did some repairs, which is why Jaidi was reluctant to take the free kick, so now Yaskalainen himself will take it. Ferdinand unable to bring it under control. Goal kick. Well, the, late, the latest Bolton Wanderers centre forward being watched by probably their greatest centre forward at Lofthouse. How much will Bolton go and try and win it now? Because, you know, they have had the better of it second half, but will they leave themselves a little bit vulnerable and, you know, overcommit? They do, they do have a habit, you know, George, of conceding late goals as well, Bolton. And quite a few here. Nolan. And uh, Hunt couldn't bring it under control. Ainsa with the throw, Campo, Ainsa again, Scholes. And Smith got the better of Gidi and gets a free kick. An opportunity for Manchester United now to assert themselves.
Hakeem forward, Giggs over the ball. Ronaldo runs away, it's Giggs for Ronaldo. Just no contact from Silvestre. That's gone out for a throw. Good ball in two from Ronaldo. Neville. Out of Campo, corner. I just wonder if Sylvester will try his little run round the back again, like he did for the goal. Ains has been told to get back, he's not going to get a second. Giggs. Oh. Well, it was the same ploy, but Sylvester was tucked in much more this time. Speed on for Barnes. Interception by Keane. Rafi wasn't going to let it reach Ronaldo. Juke looked offside, but uh, the flag stayed down. Okocha did well to retrieve it. Okocha, Nolan, and Brown was there, and Nolan says, surely it went out off the defender, and the referee says goal kick. I thought it might have been as well, but I agree with you. I thought when it was played through to begin with, Al Hadjouf, I thought he was in an offside position. I just thought he was slightly behind the defensive line. Probably too many touches. Okocha would have liked to get a shot in. Yeah, it did come back off ground and it was a goal kick. Scholes. Ronaldo. That is challenge is a foul. Signaled by the assistant. Giggs is a free kick opportunity. As Giggs rolled back for Scholes. Blocked by Jaidi and now Juk on the counter. And bolted and bent forward. Nolan steaming through the middle. Juk. Oh, that was a great opportunity for Bolton and Juk couldn't find the pass to pick out Nolan. But they had Manchester United stretched. To be honest, Juk was looking for it all the time. I think he could have taken it on because he only had Phil Neville to try and beat. And I think he's got a lot of room to keep going. And he's gone for a very difficult ball through. He could have gone on and had a pop. Ronaldo. And Donny wins it back from Scholes, then it's Keane. Barnes wins it back for Bolton. Juf. Speed. Challenged by Giggs. The Manchester United Welshman winning out there, but then Gotti's in the way again. A clever ball by Hotcha, finding Juf. Juf challenged by Smith and by Neville. Forward by Barnes. Then it's Keane. And the edge is certainly back in this tie. Giggs. And Ferdinand takes it away from Heinz. Speed. Juff. Towards Les Ferdinand. Wouldn't reach him. Howard able to gather it in. That's tough, that, isn't it? Trying to take out a lone striker all the time. Very hard job to do. They get good service. Davis suffered before from it. Ferdinand similarly. Gotti preventing it reaching. Bellion. Ronaldo to uh, ironic cheers 
Bruce runs it out of play. It's a goal kick to Bolton. Seven minutes remain. That's the Reebok. He's just incurred Roy Keane's wrath for that. What a waste of chance. I think Roy Keane was trying to tell him if it's a cul de sac, just turn around and come out of it. Roy Keane driving them on. As it is on a knife edge. Fergus Ferdinand. Silvestre. Neville. Speed to intercept. Speed again. Okocha. Ferdinand. Okocha driven rather far wide. Keane is with him. Okocha still. Pass goals. Stopped by Smith. It's Hunt who runs it back. That's played a, that's played a good part of Dalton getting back into it. There's more desire and aggression about Dalton in the second half. Hunt to the cross. Jump! Not so far away. I thought United could have dealt with it better. I thought Nicky Hunt could have been prevented from getting it in. And I think they were a little bit slow in reacting to Diouf as well. I think United could have been at it faster. Smith now in chase. But the ball again just running away from him. Ferdinand beaten by Wes Brown. Scholes under pressure from speed. It was a foul on Scholes by speed. Scholes again. Inside and that uh, touch line. Neville. Ronaldo. Spun away from speed. Smith, Keane, looking for Bellion. Just came in him a little too quickly. Made it difficult to control it. But Bolton have been far more competitive to their managers liking, I'm sure, second half. Speed, Akocha, Campo. You know, they've, they've played much more of a part in the game. Akocha. No foul. Hainsen. Bellion, Smith. And then it's Keane. The support in the wing comes from Neville. And Neville and Keane's in space. And uh, frustration. But he couldn't find a way through, stopped by Jaidi. Well, he wanted to pick out Ryan Giggs, and he had a little look up and decided he's not going to be able to work it through. I think he could have taken a chance. Campo read it, that's why he tried to go across goal. I think he wanted Giggs to provide a better option for him. Final substitution for Bolton, as Gary Speed will make way for Fernando Hierro. Hasn't got himself a place in the starting lineup yet, but Piero's uh, introduction for speed would suggest that what Bolton have in mind now is ensuring that they get the point. Headed away by Ferdinand. Juf, Silvestre, and now Giggs. Giggs, a dangerous ball in! Defended by Jaidi. Great header away from Jaidi, needed to be strong. And tells you how far Bolton have come as well, by the way. Hierro for speed. <laughs> Neville, poor cross. Jump. Giggs tracking back. Giggs pushing him over. Yellow card for Ryan Giggs.
Bolton push everybody up. Two minutes to go. That's all they want to do, George. Try and get it on the head of Big Les and play off him. Gotti. Ferdinand's header. Peeling for a corner, but the referee says no. Goal kick to Manchester United. He's trying to claim that it came off Sylvester. He jumped with him. He certainly got the first touch. I don't think he can give that, can you? No, absolutely not. Gotti. Neville. Touched Neville on the way, and the uh, persistent to say it's a free kick against Neville anyway. Now Alex Ferguson can protest some more. Early ball in towards Ferdinand. Howard is there, Farr's lost it. Ferdinand battles on, Ferdinand! Les Ferdinand has put it in the net for Bolton, has scored his first goal for Bolton, and has buried Manchester United. That is sensational! I think Tim Howard drops it. I think he, he could have held on to it. Even then, Sylvester had gotten his way when I think he would have collected a second time. And it's just calamitous at the back of Manchester United. But this is the one I thought that Howard could have held on. I know Ferdinand knocks him. But I think he could have kept control of it. But I suppose credit to both because they haven't played decent football all day long. But they've just kept plugging away in the hope of getting a little lucky break like that. But I think it's symptomatic of Manchester United. They weren't able to go on second half. I don't think they deserve to lose it, but they are going to. But what a horrible header by Sylvester to create that opportunity for Bolton. But bear in mind, it sent on another centre half to secure the point. And now, as they move into stoppage time, 2 1 up against Manchester United. And within touching distance of their first home win against them since the 70s of their very first victory over Manchester United in their brand new, well not so brand new now, Reebok Stadium. You're right as well, I mean Sylvester's had that second half hasn't he, he's had an absolute shocker of the second half, he's made so many mistakes and the header tops the lot. They can soon have Rio Ferdinand back, how ironic that it's his cousin Lett who reinforces how important he is to Manchester United punishing a, a calamity a, a series of errors a comedy of errors were it not so serious for Manchester United by scoring his first goal for Bolton Wanderers and effectively finishing off Manchester United and well a Ferdinand makes the headlines for Manchester United on this Saturday it won't be too long now before Rio is back and how they need him well, I mean, if it stays like this, we'd expect it. It's an awful, awful start. Two defeats in five. No chances from Barnes. On the, on the edge of his patience, Sam Allardyce in want to finish. Ronaldo's cross. And still they battle. And it's, it's gone in the net. And there's a goal. It stands. Manchester United have got the equaliser it is a comedy well, I can't believe this I mean again I think it's a goalkeeper and one of his defenders just like United before up in the air Jasker Leinen surely has got to take command because Hunt is under a lot of pressure and I think it comes off Hunt in the end with the pressure being applied to him I think Jasker Leinen could have got there Bellion is just making it difficult for Hunt and somehow it's squeezed in incredible uh, is there time to restart? Sam Allardyce will complain. The final whistle sounds and it, it ends in the draw. I think it's about right as well, by the way. And it is, isn't it ironic that it should have ended as a draw with two crazy goals? One that put Bolton in front and one to cancel it out. Oh, it was absolutely daft. I mean, I, I thought Bolton would snatch it. I didn't think United were doing enough second half to go on and win it. I didn't think it was the United of old. I didn't think Bolton were ever near their best today either. But they never really looked like producing. They got a couple of lucky breaks and took their goals on the strength of it. But uh, I think 2-2, as shocked as I am, 
that it got that far, I think it's about right. But it's another match that Manchester United have failed to win, and it's two points more, more dropped for them. And it's two points of ground lost at the top of the Premiership. However much Bolton may see, the referee has uh, been party to an amazing finale. And I think he's absolutely right, they were both good goals. Coming so late, Les Ferdinand in the last minute and then two minutes into stoppage time. Nicky Hunt's own goal. Haynes is scoring on his debut in the first half. Nolan equalising early in the second. Bolton and Manchester United draw 2-2 at the Reebok. There's plenty to do. Now that's Jupe. And down he goes, challenged by Neville and wins a free kick. Well, there was a little bit of contact with Phil Neville, but El Hadjouf does that an awful lot. You'll, you'll see him diving. A little bit of contact as he goes past. Takes a step. He could have stayed on his feet, but decided he'd have the free kick instead. And to be honest with you, Bolton have looked most dangerous on the odd set piece. And it won't be Okocha this time. It'll be Ivan Campo. Shahidi up for the front men as well. Campo tries uh, route one. A little too high. That's a waste. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's produced nothing for him. And it was a, a promising position. Should be looking to pick somebody out just to get a flick on that. He knows it. I just wonder if he gave one or two of his players the hairdryer treatment at half time because. Bolton were very lacklustre. I'm surprised they didn't go after United more. There's five or six of them out there that could be giving them more. Means it. Giggs. Campo stepping in. Left to Hunt to uh, chase back after. It's gone out. It's a throw to Bolton. There was no free kick awarded. Juf Arnes Juf Kocha Trying to measure one to Barnes. Neville is in the way to head it clear Keane Back to Brown Smith Eskalainen Had to leave his line To make sure Davis. A reflection of Keane took the sting out of it, even if it was going to trouble Tim Howard. Run by Angotti, Okocha, speed. In the end, it's Scholes who slides in and finds Ainsip. Giggs wheeling away from one challenge. Hurdling another. Forced to seek support from Ainsip. That's gone straight to Jaidi. Juf. Speed. And Sylvester getting there ahead of Davis. Keane. Neville. And look where Keane is now. there to break it up for Bolton and find Van Nistelrooy with a very perceptive ball and Hunt uh, just got in ahead of Van Nistelrooy Davis given away to Ainsa Giggs back again for Ainsa well, he had to deliver it quickly well he crafted one opportunity for himself before half time Van Nistelrooy but he needs to get hold of it first it was a great ball through from Roy Keane and if he controlled it well and his first touch was good enough he was in you know
Mitchell. Oh, brought down by Neville. Well, he seemed to get the ball. It was a heavy challenge from Phil Neville. But it looked as if he got a piece of the ball before contact with Duff. Yeah, he did. I think that's a fair challenge. I think it's another poor decision from Messias. Campo has rolled this one for Okocha. Okocha didn't get hold of the shot. Oh, there's the equaliser. Kevin Nolan. Well, that'll be worth another look. It came right out of nothing. The shot wasn't great, but Nolan followed up. That's what his game is all about. Kevin Nolan and Bolton haven't kept the ball well enough to be able to give him the opportunity to get in the box like that I can't tell you whether he's offside when Okocha mishit his shot he certainly pulled it right across goal but um, he did well to follow it up very quickly but it was kind in coming back to him so nicely from it was a good reaction from Herod to begin with but I don't know whether he was offside or not so from a set piece Campo to Okocha the shot the follow up, the equaliser 1 1. And okay, yeah, he's onside. It's just a miss hit shot. He takes his chance. That's what he's good at gambling, getting past the strikers into the box. He got good fortune in it coming back to him, but he finished it off nicely. The free kick shouldn't have been given, by the way, that led to all that. I think Phil Neville made a good challenge. Well, the funny thing is, Kevin Nolan makes a habit of doing this against Manchester United you won't need reminding uh, September 2002 Bolton won 1-0 at Old Trafford Kevin Nolan scored the goal and now he's thrown them a lifeline with the equaliser here he won it back again now it's Davis he wants it far too long and I allowed Ainsley to arrive Davis still straight at Howard he is a bit cumbersome though isn't he well, Sylvester wanted all the time in the world there. I mean, he should have released it much quicker and he got himself in trouble. I mean, he was like that in the European Championships with France. And he was fortunate to get away with that. A completely different complexion on things now. There's a huge buzz around the stadium and, and a spring in Bolton step, not surprisingly. Kevin Nolan hasn't been among the goals this season yet. That's his first. Looks like he's on a couple of rounds with Amir Khan, doesn't he? But he's delivered uh, quite a punch to Manchester United. Ainsa gets a free kick, foul by Campo. And it'll be gigs to take. Kings looking at the flags up, looking for Anissa Roy, but the assistant on this side shot the flag straight up in the air. Free kick for offside to Bolton Wanderers. He got, he got lucky, did he? He, did. he got lucky. I mean, okay, if you take a chance, sometimes that works out for you. But a cotcher, it's a pretty poor shot from him. I mean, you can't blame Hart for not being able to direct it away because it comes at him so quickly. All he can do is get in the way of it and hope. And the follow-up was easy. Which is largely what Kevin Nolan did in the first place, was get in the way of a missing shot. But, it sailed into the rigging. It's 1-1, and they're very happy. Akacha. Keen. Challenged by Zaidi. It's a free kick. Hard to legislate against the kind of goal that was conceded there because Howard did make the save and on another day it could have missed Nolan following up, but it went straight onto his forehead and into the net.
and exactly what he would have said to his players about you know nothing silly okay they, they didn't give it away but um, all of it it's done it again Nolan's intercepted Davis Nolan carries on here's Nolan Davis once more Davis so far away well Sylvester I mean he wants shooting for that because it was him again that's totally careless on his behalf he should keep it simple it's a great opportunity Duff was lurking I thought he might have gone for a little dink ball in the end Davis once he got it back but uh, it's a great attempt right across Tim Howard and it wasn't too far away see an equaliser and you just want to keep it simple make sure your pass gets there and Sylvester well he looks a liability at the moment <laughs> they come prepared don't they a very noisy place the rebound right now I bet you glad she has cause to use him Silvestre, come to Okocha, come to Okocha again, oh, corner, I think the goalkeeper had it covered, but again, Silvestre could have gone anywhere off him, he's done enough, I mean Silvestre's just hoping to get something on it and get in the way, but those sometimes can flick into the back of your net, I think the keeper would have saved it, here's the corner from Okocha, Shaidi missed it, Scholes has got it away, and Nistel Roy. A wrong decision by the uh, linesman. Giving it to Bolton. He won't mind. <laughs> I think he might have got it right. And there's no complaints from Van Nistel Roy. Speed. A little more momentum from Bolton, and who knows what might happen. Well, you don't necessarily have to play the greatest incisive constructive football just to get things going a little more passion and pride in your performance and that's what Sam Allardyce is getting now he's getting a response most experienced premiership player 418 times that 419 today and Bolton win a free kick right on the edge of the box and it's Sylvester again he's having a torrid time at the moment I thought they played Davis very well in the first half well this time you can't do that he's got his arm he's pinning him down he's not giving the centre forward a chance to jump and very dangerous again for Manchester United this is Okocha territory I mean, it started to rain as well, George, and you know, you've got a right greasy pitch now, difficult for goalkeepers. So Campo stands alongside. Here's JJ Okocha. Well, Howard knew what to expect. He's going for the double bluff, isn't he? He's hoping the goalkeeper's going to move to the other post. He's hoping he's going to move to his left. Done well. is in Gotti a bit loose Jaidi Keane Faberson Neville so Gotti Keane makes the challenge captain's example committed to the last he needs that kind of response from those around him as well now. Keane against that Stew. And he pushes him over and it's a free kick to Bolton. Well, uh, we're in the middle of the crowd and uh, you have to say they are passionate. Every challenge by a Manchester United player is greeted with a roar of disapproval. 
on that occasion they've got what they wanted the free kick to their team with Manchester United in town you always get a little more passion from the home support taken by Ngotti Davis Nolan going in there just couldn't make the contact Sylvester did it again you know I mean Davis as he's trying to get on it Sylvester just had a little pull at him again with the left arm over his shoulder there's Campo and that was Scholes who won it back Van Nistelrooy for Giggs Ainsen stopped by Hunt Koch is back in defensive mode. It wasn't a bad clearance because it was to where nobody was waiting for Manchester United. Retrieved by Brown, then it's Keane. Van Nistelrooy. Cracked by Ngotti. Back for Ainsen. Keane. Touch, took it away from the Manchester United man. Campo, Keane sliding in, and that intervention has got Manchester United the ball back. Ainsa, Roy Keane is certainly uh, back to his tigerish best. Oh. I just wonder if the manager's thinking about Ronaldo. As United need another injection again now. And uh, I think Ronaldo could well provide it. Certainly Ronaldo for Cleverson would offer a lot more up the right, wouldn't it? Without doubt. Smith. It's away by Ngotti. Neville. Smith, Jane, he just got there, little touch to take it away from Van Nistelrooy. And Nolan, ambitious ball looking for Davis. use hard Jaidi see it back to Jaskalainen that's the one thing I thought Bolton would see more of in the first half I was surprised that they didn't press Manchester United when they were in possession more and now they seem to be pushing up the field and they're trying to get to him quicker and hurrying them into giving it back to them here's the change few words of Portuguese from Carlos Queiroz with Cristiano Ronaldo and the change is being made and it is Cleverson off and Ronaldo on in the 65th minute speed but nobody there in white Anthony Barnes, you can you can tell now his mind will be engaged by Ronaldo's appearance all of a sudden. You've got to get your tackles right on this surface now. Higgs misplaced. Hunt for Campo. Campo, the angle of the pass, all wrong for Davis. Neville. Got the fouls van Nistelrooy, the foot was high. Here's the first touch for Ronaldo. Campo comes to close him down. Brought down by Campo who protests. He's lucky he hasn't got a yellow for protesting too much. Is there a little bit of contact? I think he feels Ronaldo goes down too easily. I agree with him. I think Ronaldo did. So now a chance for Manchester United. Wasn't one of the... Stepovers and a 
a tricky run up the wing it was a, a little tumble it's given them the free kick and it's Giggs and Jasko Leinen taking no chances Scholes dispossessed of Barnes and now it's Davis for out to Duke did the necessary speed Davis always under pressure Ronaldo past Barnes Campos there he tries a little bit of trickery himself. And Ronaldo stops him. And Campo gets a free kick. <laughs> well, you wonder how much of that was, was Campo uh, being in self-indulgent. Or was it to the good of both of deciding that his status was such that he had to impose himself on the young upstart. Okocha for Campo. Campo shot. Corner. Well, just as well, United got players to... They were a little slow reacting to begin with, but Giggs, Phil Neville and Scholes all closed them down. And, uh, just as well, it was a touch from someone. Corner taken by Adjuf. Scholes challenges Akocha, it's a throw to Bolton. Which when Akocha takes it can be as good as a corner kick. Away by Silvestre. And Gotti back to Akocha. Akocha. Oh, it was Silvestre. Hence got it away. And Ronaldo has it now facing Campo. And this time decisive with the tackle he's doing well Barnes will certainly be pleased that Campo is coming across to help out and give him a bit of protection you don't want to allow him one on one I think Campo's a, a man on a mission at the moment now well, he feels aggrieved over the little, the little drop by Ronaldo before Time it's uh, Speed who fouls Keane. Needs it. Gotcha. Speed. And then for Nolan. Stepped out of Smith challenge, finds Hunt. Davis holding off Scholes. And for Campo. Another goal kick this time. And his reaction said it all. I mean, he had enough space. Ains is looking as if he's tiring a little bit to me, and his last pass gave it away. Looks as if he's just feeling it a little bit now. The excitement over his debut, the goal, etc. Needs a second win. Lightly overhit, which uh, suggests a diminishing concentration. Campo, Hunt, Juf, and uh, Hint says penalised this time. Bolton having a much better second half than they did at first. 
Well, the worry for United since Bolton equalises that the game is getting away from them slowly. And, and Bolton are looking a little more likely. I mean, United just need to get possession back and start keeping it for each other again. Something they did so well in the first half, they've just not done it since Bolton got their equaliser. And Van Nistelrooy has come back to Mark Rapocha. There's the two centre halves in the box. Campo with the free kick. Roy Keane defends it. Okocha to send it back. And Howard takes it under pressure from Juf. Giggs. Smith. And Smith. Knocks over Campo, who uh, decides to cartwheel away and gets the free kick. I think everybody could lip read what Alan Smith thought of Campo in that instance as well. Not nice. Neville for Van Nistelrooy. Ronaldo. Philip Neville's continued into the attack. Then it's Van Nistelrooy. It's off Jaidi, and it's gone for a throw to Manchester United. Ronaldo. Oh. <laughs> and Sam Allardyce has seen a marked improvement in the second half. Free kick against Silvestre. Take it by Angotti. Davis tries to get in there to mix it. He did get a touch, but uh, he was backing into his opponent. It becomes a free kick to Manchester United. Yeah, he was holding Sylvester as well. I think the big difference from both the second half, and I think Sam would have got the message home at half time, is that, you know, Campo, Gary Speed, and they had to do more in the coach in central midfield. And I think they've done that, you know, in, in getting to United a little bit quicker and preventing them from enjoying time on the ball Ronaldo and away from Campo and a shot oh the crossbar saves Bolton and it ends up as a corner to Manchester United but what a goal that would have been that's a stunner I mean it's great for him isn't it because he can come inside like that and he seems equally as strong and it swerved a little bit I think Yaskalani got a little touch on that it's a save it goes down as a very good save just enough to put it onto the crossbar and Van Nistelrooy fresh back from his hernia goes off and David Bellion young Frenchman comes on 16 minutes to go Van Nistelrooy unlikely to last 90 minutes straight back from his up that ends up over the top and it's a goal kick to Bolton chance for Sylvester but I don't believe he thought it was going to arrive on his head but I mean I was just laughing at Campo Campo's done a little more in the second half and he's he's played a part in thwarting Ronaldo a couple of times but he just didn't know which way he was going to go and he fooled him completely and that's a stunning effort and well done just to ask a lineman because it's a wonderful save and another change being made, uh, off goes Kevin Davis, and on goes Les Ferdinand. Yes, still around Les Ferdinand, now in the colours of Bolton Wanderers. You just wonder who will be taking him on board next season in the Premiership. <laughs> he won't go away, will he, Les? No. Juf. Ball's out. Neville. Higgs. And it goes Jaidi. And 
out goes the ball. Ironic cheers, the whistle has sounded against the Manchester United player, in this case Alan Smith. Skalainen did some repairs, which is why Jaidi was reluctant to take the free kick, so now Yaskalainen himself will take it. Ferdinand unable to bring it under control. Goal kick. Well, the, la the latest Bolton Wanderer centre forward being watched by probably their greatest centre forward. That locked house. How much will Bolton go and try and win it now? Because, you know, they have had the better of its second half, but will they leave themselves a little bit vulnerable and, you know, overcommit? They do, they do have a habit, you know, George, of conceding late goals as well, Bolton. And quite a few here. Nolan. And uh, Hunt couldn't bring it under control. Ainsa with the throw. Campo. Ainsa again. Scholes. And Smith got the better of Gidi. And gets a free kick. An opportunity for Manchester United now to assert themselves. forward, Giggs over the ball Ronaldo runs away it's Giggs for Ronaldo just no contact from Silvestra that's gone out for a throw good ball in two from Ronaldo Neville out of Campo corner I just wonder if Sylvester will try his little run round the back again like he did for the goal Ains has been told to get back he's not going to get a second Giggs oh. well it was the same ploy but Sylvester was tucked in much more this time Speed on for Barnes. Interception by Keane. Rafi wasn't going to let it reach Ronaldo. Looked offside, but uh, the flag stayed down. Akacha did well to retrieve it. Akacha, Nolan, and Brown was there. And Nolan says, surely it went out off the defender. And the referee says, goal kick. I thought it might have been as well. But I agree with you. I thought when it was played through to begin with, Al had Shuff, I thought he was in an offside position. I just thought he was slightly behind the defensive line. Probably too many touches. Akacha would have liked to get a shot in. Yeah, it did come back off ground and it was a goal kick. Scholes. Ronaldo. Barry's challenge is a foul. 
signal by the assistant. So Giggs is a free kick opportunity. Giggs rolled back for Scholes. And blocked by Jaidi and now Juff on the counter. And Bolton have bent forward. Nolan steaming through the middle. Juff. Oh, that was a great opportunity for Bolton. And Juff couldn't find the pass to pick out Nolan. But they had Manchester United stretched. To be honest, Juff was looking for it all the time. I think he could have taken it on because he only had Phil Neville to try and beat. And I think he's got a lot of room to keep going. And he's gone for a very difficult ball through. Could have gone on and had a pop. But they still keep them at the, uh, keep them in the squad because they know at certain times you're going to have to bring them into the team because of suspensions, because of injuries, and they can come in and do a solid job. Now whether John's going to be a regular Manchester United side at any position, time will tell. But I also agree with John. I think his best position will be the, a right back position because he's extremely good coming forward. He's got good pace about him, good uh, athleticism. He's tall, he can win balls in the air uh, and Gary Neville's not going to go on forever and this is a player who I think Sir Alex at some stage will put into that Alright, OK, G give me your uh, prediction before we go to George. Well, I, I, you know, I, I think Manchester United are going to win today, I think they're going to get back to winning wins, they must start if they want to win the, the Premiership this season. John? Well, I think Man U might start, uh, would start favourites Bill, with the players that they got, uh, but I must be honest, if Bolton won uh, I wouldn't be that terribly surprised. Alright, let's see what happens, let's go to uh, the Reebok Stadium Jim Beglin and George Hamilton Thank you very much. Good afternoon to Greater Manchester. It's uh, almost a local derby. It's just 20 miles up the M61 motorway and you arrive at the futuristic looking Reebok Stadium where Bolton Wanderers have been at home for several seasons now but have yet to beat Manchester United in this their new home. The last time they did beat them, as you've heard, was a long time ago, almost 26 years in fact, Christmas 1978, back in the old Burnden Park. That's uh, where they were when they last beat Manchester United in a home game and that was by three goals to nil they have of course a more recent past one at Old Trafford but not here at the Reebok Stadium now you might remember him from the Olympics he's uh, a local lad he boxes a bit and he came back with that medal I watched some of it over there. He was fantastic, Amir Khan, and he deserves the ovation he's getting from his uh, hometown crowd. Fantastic for him. Bringing the Olympics home to Bolton. Uh, he's delighted, uh, they're delighted, and they hope that there's maybe a medal for them at this afternoon's performance. Though uh, there's another Olympic uh, medalist, the gold medalist, on the pitch today, and that is the new left back for Manchester United, Gabriel Ainsa, who won gold with Argentina. Yes, he had a, such a successful Olympic, such a popular young man, only 17 years of age, and proud to wear the Bolton colours and be fated here among his own folk. Can number one, and why not? And there in the centre circle to take part in the, in the pre-match uh, presentation. It's a bit of a feel of a country fair about it, I have to say. The long way from Old Trafford, and this fellas only just arrived at Old Trafford three months after being transferred from Paris Saint-Germain where they finished second in the league and was voted the toughest defender in France last year. That's Ains, uh, runner-up in the Copa America for Argentina, winner of the Olympics for Argentina. They won the final in Athens. He's played over 12 internationals for Argentina in the summer, so he, he hasn't exactly been uh, idle. But uh, the first time he met his Old Trafford colleagues was at the start of the week. And it's interesting to note that he, making his debut, is one of uh, three four players making their first start for Manchester United this season Wes Brown hasn't played at all Ruben Nistelrooy hasn't played at all and Phil Neville has had four substitute appearances only one of those in the Premiership and Roy Keane hasn't been an ever present either though as we all know he made his return in Basel on Wednesday night JJ Okocha will face this man today Ruben Nistelrooy had a hernia operation wasn't thought that he'd be back for a bit but uh, back he's come because uh, Alex Ferguson feels 
time they started winning on a regular basis. They've only scored three goals in the Premiership this season. Manchester United in their four games. So a standing ovation for the Olympic medalist from Bolton. And the serious business of the football can get underway. Bolton, without their regular left back, Ricardo Gardner, who was only back yesterday from international duty with Jamaica, and they figured he wasn't uh, fit enough to take a place, or in the right frame of mind, indeed, to take a place in the lineup. So he sits it out, and uh, they have uh, full backs of Nicky Hunt and Anthony Barnes. Hunt at right back and Barnes at left. Bolton will face the Manchester United team that kicks off the top. Scorer in English football this season is Alan Smith. Two Premiership goals and three in Europe. A fiery start for the former Leeds United man. In the Bolton Wanderers team today, Gary Speed, the most experienced player in the Premiership. Ains it. Challenged by Davis, throws to Manchester United, which gives me the opportunity to repeat the stat about Gary Speed, who's making his 500th career start in a match that's been refereed by Matt Basias from York. Gotti challenged by Van Nistelrooy, it's come to Barnett, and back it goes to Jaskalainen in the Bolton goal, straight down the middle towards Davis, holding off Silvestre, clicked on there by Nolan, then it's Okocha, Nolan, Davis uh, sold his defender short, Ainsa for a chance to raid forward and then brought down by Campo, a free kick to Manchester United. How about an easy early touch for Ainsa, he'll feel a little bit better after that. I think that's going to be very important for Bolton today, playing off Davis as ever, and they do that very well, and I think Manchester United, if they don't win the first ball off the centre forward, who's very effective in the Bolton system, they've got to be looking to pick up the second. Ainsa looking for Cleverson. Philip Neville. And Gotti underneath it. And out it goes for a throw to Manchester United. Roy Key, Smith, first touch, let him down. Neville goes in, Smith, Barnes, Roy Keane to send it back. There's no one there to threaten for United, and Jaskalainen will take control. The day is somewhat breezy outside, but it's uh, not all that chilly. Still autumn time in the northwest of England. You wouldn't notice the breeze in the bowl that is the Reebok Stadium Ainsa and Neville sees it back to Howard but you can just see the way Bolton play um, yeah it's great when Okocha gets it and sprays it about and you know scores his spectacular goals but you often see the long ball from Bolton as well trying to play off off Davis you'll see Nolan tuck it in and Pedersen from the left side tucking in like that as well and it's very very effective here's Okocha and uh, rolled it out for the throw-off gigs. Hunt took the throw, it's now Keane. And Speed uh, shouldered him out of the way. Okocha. And Pedersen come in from that left wing, it's left the room for Neville to push forward. Cleverson ahead of him. Alan Smith comes short, this is he. Back again for Neville. Scholes, Roy Keane available in the centre circle. Scholes hurried him into the pass. Giggs, a little bit too adventurous. Nolan lost the possession. Hunt, a little tug on Giggs. Free kick to Manchester United. Uh, Giggs just stopped and wanted the free kick. I think he probably could have kept going. It wasn't that strong from Nicky Hunt. Nistelrooy waits in the penalty area, so to Alan Smith. Wait for the Bolton defenders to be brought back the requisite distance. Not those ones, the ones near as the ball. Giggs flinging it in too high for Van Nistelrooy. Ironic cheers for the Bolton fans and out of play it goes for a throw to the home team. I was unlucky that Van Nistelrooy doing what he likes to do, just kind of hanging in that offside position, then gets back on just as it's been taken. 
Manchester United bench there. Ronaldo at the back uh, among the substitutes who hasn't got a start today because he was away in World Cup duty as well. Van Nistelrooy, Smith, Giggs. And it's Ngotti to see it away. Bolton looking a little insecure. They shouldn't have allowed Van Nistelrooy to turn. That was very sluggish at the back from them. Throw to come from Neville. Neville, it's Cleverson, Yaskalainen and stretching and giving away the corner. The early pressure coming from Manchester United. Sylvester moves on. Corner taken short for Giggs. Blocked by Speed, who's a little agitated with those around him. Tell you, George, they got away with it again, Bolton. They were completely asleep when United took the short corner. Ain't it? It's his cross, seeking Van Nistelrooy. Barnes took it away from him, but it's another throw to Manchester United. He looks like a, a, a bit of a threat as a, a cross of the ball as well as everything else. Throw from Neville. So got it ahead away. Job completed with Patterson. Davis against Brown. And then it's Sylvester all the way back to Howard. Keen it is. Sylvester. Giggs. And the smart turn didn't fool Hunt. Nolan. And Davis was on the wrong foot when the pass came. And it's gone for a goal kick to Manchester United. Well, I think he's impressed on his players the need to start brightly here because Bolton won't be shy and going after Manchester United. You know, they're very buoyant after such a good start. And uh, United will need to have their focus about him and really need to apply it. Can't afford to lose any more ground. Was Jaidi the Tunisian defender? Campo uh, pulled back by Cleverson. Free kick for Bolton. Campo looking for Davis. Got the winner against Liverpool. I mean, there was talk, wasn't there, last season for a little bit that you know Davis might even get an England cap, but. Very effective in the system of the play. Centre forward needs to be scoring more goals than he gets them. That was Keane. Nolan forward. Davis beaten by the pace of Sylvester, who's happy enough. Shepherd and out of play for a throw to Bolton. Jaidi 45 times a Tunisian international. Target for Okocha's throw, but it's Davis he's gone for. Ainsa kept it in play. Seeks Van Nistelrooy, who controlled it well, but uh, illegally. Ainsa it was his shoulder. The referee was looking face on and saw the use of the arm. Dotti with a free kick. Nolan. Back for Davis. Jaidi at the back, forcing possession of the corner for Philip Neville. Better for Bolton. First corner for them. Eight and a half minutes in. JJ Okocha. Speed scampering around the box of Kocha. It's away by Silvestre. It's back in again by Barnes. Cleared by Cleverson. And this time it'll be on Nicky Hunt. Send it back forward again. Pedersen couldn't control it. Goal kick to Manchester United.
El Hadj Juf on a season's loan from Liverpool and in the squad for the first time today and on the bench like Ronaldo Speed Jaidi Jaidi Nolan Campo Keane in the way there's the old Roy Keane, the awareness of where everybody is and the pass straight to Philip Neville. Scholes. Back again for Neville. And there's the support from Cleverson's the nearest to him and he's found him. Cleverson against Ngotti for Neville. Scholes stands back. It's uh, found its way to Nolan and Nolan invites Pedersen to test the pace of Brown in a race that Manchester United man was likely to win at all times Sylvester Keane and Keane picking out Neville again United look much better in possession Cleverson Scholes Ainsers on the touchline Smith Scholes Ainsers made a run Scholes checks the other way Back again for Neville. Keane. Kicks. It's the head of speed. Then Campo tussling. And Brown wins it back. And it's Sylvester. And Sylvester's found Ainsa. And Ainsa, well, maybe he was trying to lob the goalkeeper. I'll be kinder to him. He just overhit his pass at uh, either Smith or Van Nistelrooy. I don't think he was thinking about goal in that instance. Well, uh, he should be back for the Liverpool game, Rayo Ferdinand. John O'Shea sitting this one out through injury. Manchester United's options getting better as the season progresses. <laughs> Silvestra, who in the absence of Ferdinand still policing the centre of defence Keane, Ainsa unless you're wondering about uh, the pronunciation of his name it was a subject of considerable debate uh, before the game as to precisely what he should be known as obviously of German extraction Heinze would be his name but in Argentina they call him Ainsa and they don't really pronounce the H and that's straight from the horse's mouth Keane Kicks. Oh, Van Nistelrooy. Well, he is playing for the first time this season. Give him his, his due. Well, it wasn't meant for him. I mean, I think he did well to, to read the misplaced pass from Giggs. I mean, that's why he is playing, because class and experience will outweigh his, his lack of fitness. That's what Alex Ferguson is hoping for. And that's why he and Brown are in the lineup, because. They just need the points, United. Cleverson. Pedersen, the challenge. Uh, he won the throw. I think the appeal for the throw was more in hope than anything else, but he got it. But now Manchester United with the ball back. And they still. again by Okocha off Brown's head corner to Bolton as ever it will be Okocha to take it and Bolton push uh, seven players into the penalty area United defending on the goal line as well as in the penalty spot. Okocha to take. Over the head of Davis and uh, nobody there to retrieve it. It's Van Nistelrooy. Barnes did well. Gibbs 
gets in. Away by Jaidi. Skulls intercepts. Keen. Brown. Cleverson. Possessed by Smith. Uh, well, oh, there's a little bit of afters after the ball had gone. The referee wasn't given the free kick. But uh, Smith took advantage of, of Campo's lethargy. And Campo didn't like the fact that he was uh, caught like that. Well, first view of that, I hope the referee doesn't produce yellow. I mean, Campo's at fault. He got caught. And uh, he had a real kick out at Smith. Smith wasn't happy in it. There was nothing malicious in it. And I hope the referee has a bit of common sense about this and just gives him a little talking to. Which is exactly what he's done. That is the problem with Campo, though, George. I mean, sometimes he thinks he's Maradona and a little bit of skill will get him out of trouble. It's true. I mean, if he keeps things nice and simple, he can be a very good player in this formation for Bolton. But sometimes he just dwells on it far too long and things like that happen. Fans wanted him yellow card for a handball, but Cavers gave him a nudge. Scholes, Smith, Cleverson. Scholes managed to stay outside. Here's Paul Scholes. Yes, line and that's Cleverson. Well, the uh, linesman didn't give an offside against Scholes. Bolton protests. It would have counted. I thought he was onside. I thought when Cleverson flicked it through, I thought he held his line really well. I thought it's good strength as well to shake off and got it. And at that stage, the angle was tight for him, and Escalina made a good save. Cleverson couldn't follow it up, but I thought it was onside. Cleverson, Kocha. Pedersen defended there by Brown and Silvestra. Davis, Silvestra away. Davis made a shield it, let it go out for a throw. And they can expect another long one from JJ. speed is returned it and Campo with the hand free kick to Manchester United I think United have defended that very well that longer ball to Davis I mean, and invariably they haven't won it directly and they have followed it up very very well which I said early on was important for them today Pass goals. Back for some more. Oh. I needed someone to swoop down on the trapeze to take advantage of that. Well, it's that kind of match, isn't it? It's scrappy at times. United are the better side, much better in possession. Um, need to improve in the final third and Bolton really haven't got themselves going they're just kind of hitting hope really too much Smith <laughs> and a 
Fletcher caught uh, Scholes there. And they're brought to one side by the referee. And the card is coming out for that. Is it? He went for his uh, pocket and then he changed his pocket. To be honest, he made very little contact with Paul Scholes. But uh, he was silly to make the lunge because the ball had well gone. Smith challenged by Nolan. Now uh, Potch has got it and Smith gets it back from him. Giggs. Uh, Bangotti. Now it's Keane. Challenged by Potcher. Pedersen comes in. Keane gets there ahead of Akocha. Akocha's in chase. He felt something was going to happen there. And the car was out this time for JJ Akocha. I think Akocha's furious because Roy Keane raised his foot very high. And I think he wanted a free kick against Manchester United for that. And that's why he gave chase so strongly and just clipped Roy Keane's heels. And I think had he not attempted the foul on Paul Scholes before, he probably would have got away with that. But that's why he's seen yellow. The challenge of Roy Keane means a free kick to Manchester United. Six and a half minutes to the interval. The sun comes out in Bolton. Giggs takes the kick. Campo defends. Giggs has another chance. Keane. Neville. start up for Roy Keane, it'd be great uh, local town pride in Bolton Wanderers and of course they, they wouldn't have a lot of time for the perceived aristocrats from down the road I would dearly love to put one over on them well that wasn't one of his better goals but I mean he's totally dominated the midfield for me today I think that's why you're seeing Okocha get frustrated and this time it's Roy Keane leading with the forearm into the back of Kevin Davis means a free kick to Bolton Wanderers. Cleverson, only Van Nistelrooy ahead of him. Giggs is joining the attack. Cleverson's cross, Giggs arriving, and uh, Hunt had to defend it. He's done well, and that was all from Bolton set piece. Probably the best thing Cleverson's done, but certainly since he got four scores in earlier on. for Manchester United Giggs corner ain't it away of Campo Cleverson for Keane Giggs available on the touchline five red shirts in that penalty area Giggs taking on Davis Giggs cross Van Nistelrooy maybe not enough power to trouble Jaskalainen who made the save Oh, that's the first time Giggs has run at his man. That time it was Davis back trying to help out, and power was the only thing it lacked. If he could have generated a little more power by Mr. Roy, United would have been one up. I was just saying, in the space of a minute, we saw a decent cross from Cleberson, which United got the corner off, and then Giggs take his man on and, and whip one in. I, mean, I think we need to see more of it. They've been too quiet throughout this moment of 45. Barnes intercepting Brown's forward pass. Brown in again. It's Smith, Cleverson. And Smith, Neville, and Scholes. Brown, Sylvester. It's now Anson. Sylvester. Well, he needed 
Better there than Smith. Keane, speed. And away from Keane. And then it's Nolan and Pedersen. Pacaccia through the middle. Pedersen's cross. Oh dear. I'm just thinking, George. Has Tim Howard had anything serious to stop? He's had to come for a couple of crosses, all right. But Bolton, as the home side, just haven't tested him enough. Smith. And Nisla Roy taking on Ngotti. And the defender did the necessary, and it's a corner for Manchester United. Well, Alex Ferguson will want to see more of that. Smith dropping short. It's a great spot to pick out Van Nistelrooy, and I think if you've got a fully fit Dutchman there, he probably takes that on and finds the back of the net. He allowed Ngotti to get back. Giggs, Silvestre, Heitzer! He's made himself a hero in an instant. Manchester United's new left back gets the congratulations of the men he hadn't met this time last week. I think a huge amount of credit has to go to Silvestre because many men have given that up, has been overhit. Ryan Giggs probably felt he got too much on it. The Frenchman didn't give it up. I think he gets a great header back. And all the, the debutant had to do really was just turn it into the net. But I probably feel they should have had somebody get the foot out to try and prevent it again. That's brilliant from Sylvester. And Davis was a little slow in reacting to allow Ainsett to put the United one in. One up. Gabriel Ainsett scores in his debut for Manchester United. And it's a, a goal that gives them a lead that's uh, really on the balance of the game they deserve. And here's another card for Bolton player. Nicky Hunt for bringing down Ryan Giggs. So Manchester United get a fourth Premiership goal. Two of the others came from Alan Smith and one from David Bellion. And Nistelrooy hasn't been in the team to score goals for the yet, but... <laughs> Bolton fans love that, but uh, he's got to come back and he'll get better. That's why he's in the side, because... He ain't a bit Van Nistelrooy, because in moments like that, but again, Sylvester, fantastic. And ain't it. Well, he probably can't believe his look, and he was allowed to turn it in so softly. What a debut now. Eh? To stop his time at the end of the first half. What a day for him. What a year for him. Olympic gold medal. A goal for Manchester United in his first game. again trying to find Giggs Giggs brought down again by Hunt I see what can happen when you engage the fullback United now are benefiting big time down the left flank and to Len Giggs really kept coming inside all the time and it wasn't productive now he's beginning to trouble him Once more, Scholes and Giggs, the two players closest. Scholes, he got his head, but it's offside. The old Trafford brains trust us. Going to be satisfied about. Well, he's got some talking to do. Last action of the first half is the free kick by Yusuf Eskalainen, who conceded the only goal of the half to Manchester United's new left back Gabriel Inter. Goal in his debut, coming in the 44th minute, and it's enough to put Manchester United in front at the break. 
JJ Okocha's team. Long loan signing from Liverpool. El Hadj Juf and it's Henrik Pedersen who makes way for the second half. What a rising reception he's got. Now, can he do on his first appearance for Bolton what Gabriel Ainsa did for Manchester United in the first half? We shall see. Second half on the way. Manchester United a goal to the good. Pedersen had been playing on the left. Al Adjouf has begun in that kind of area. It'll be the same role. I mean, Pedersen came into the game carrying a knock, and uh, he was a doubt beforehand, and he just didn't look right. I mean, his control was awful, never got involved. Keane. Now Ainsa. It's your best. Ainsa once more. Keane dispossessing Campo. Van Nistelrooy losing out to Jay Roy. Cleverson. Giggs chasing through the middle, but the pass a little too long. Push by Davis and Sylvester. It's him all the time though, isn't it? They're just looking for him with the longer ball. They haven't really tried to work speed or a Okocha in. And uh, United have dominated the central midfield area. Keenan's goals look more comfortable. And you would have thought with Bolton having the extra man advantage there that they might have had more of an impact. Came off Brown's head, Haynes has gathered it in. Keen for Cleverson. On for Van Nistelrooy. Back for Neville. Scholes. Keen. Giggs. Trying to find Smith, and he has done. Smith! Straight at the goalkeeper. It's great strength from him because, you know, he's got a man tight to him. In fact, I think Jaidi was too tight and he rolled him easily. Unfortunately, it's straight at Jaskolainen. At the other end, uh, Davis going through, couldn't hold off Brown. It's Keane, Cleverson, Keane again. I think you've seen a different Smith as well, George. I mean, without the other strikers to help out, and Scholes has like been playing off him. But now he's dropping that little bit deeper. Van Nistelrooy will lead the line. And I think you'll probably see a different side to Alan Smith in the United Colours today. There he is again, just dropping a little bit. That's Scholes. On for Keane. Cleverson, Keane. Goals. <laughs> Misread uh, what Ryan Giggs was up to, or misinterpreted what the plan might be. That's the only thing you could say about United up to now. That's that's not right. Maybe that you know they've been a bit wasteful as they tried to play people through. Three or four of those have gone astray. The rest looks very comfortable. Davis finally hates it. And Giggs feeds Scholes. And Scholes has a go. He's curling away from the goal. Davis, Cleverson for Keane, Philip Neville, <laughs> A 
Vincent. Van Nistelrooy, Giggs. God, he got in to deny Van Nistelrooy. Now it's a Ococha. For Pedersen. Support from speed. Pedersen to drill one in. And straight at Brown. Smith against Barnes. As Pedersen finds speed. Jaidi. Ococha. They love that, and he's found Gary Steed. And Speed tries to get Davis through, but his part in it wasn't as accurate as had been Okocha's. And they love the flourishes from JJ Okocha. Well, I think the important thing, I mean, that's the flamboyance we know he can produce. He's adding goals to it this season. Didn't get one Premiership goal last season, got three already this. I thought Gary Speed could have taken it on, maybe have a blast with his left foot. by Ngotti, back again by Brown now it's Cleberson Neville Keane and Smith helping it on the Yaskal Island leaving his area and to make sure that the danger pass, but I'm not happy with the line because it's all over the line. I think the Mr. Rowe was offside. Offside flags up this time. Hasn't Keane been very clever there? I mean, I think it is correct on this occasion. A couple of them were offside, certainly Van Nistelrooy. But Keane's distribution has been excellent. You commented on his awareness already. I mean, he knows exactly what's around him and when. I, mean, I, I think another reason as well for his more subdued performance in in Basel was the I think the Swiss played him very well I think they looked at Ireland and thought who can dictate Roy Keane we won't let him it's Campo Akocha too many red shirts around him Alan Smith the one who emerges with the ball Smith Van Nistelrooy Cleverson under too much pressure from Campo throw to Bolton He's got to start making more of an impression though this season, Cleverson. He knows what it's all about now. English football, he's had a year, knows what's required. He's got to start delivering. Hinset won it, Stoles has it. Neville breaks forward. Keane. Cleverson. Key. Giggs. And Okocha and Zaidi winning it back. Now it's Okocha. Davis makes a run on the right, then checks and receives. Okocha. Pedersen. Speed. Ultimately, it was Neville's challenge that denied him. Okocha, though, gets it back from Smith. Arnes, Campo. Looking for Davis. Silvestre did the need hook. It all broke down from Ryan Giggs again. I don't think he's coming in off the flank with any great effect at the moment. I mean, it seems to be breaking down often quite a bit. There to Hunt. Ainsa. Uh, he's a man with determination. I think he's made a very good start. Ainsa looks very composed, picks a good pass. And, uh, he's not, not afraid to go in where it hurts, but I think Giggs could have a bigger bearing on the game. I think he's been a little, a little wasteful. 
Was you consider what Ains has done all summer, all those internationals, be they uh, Copa America or Olympics, he's, he's certainly not lacking in match fitness. Well, he says he doesn't want to rest, he just wants to keep playing. Okocha. It's Davis, it's gone out. The entertainer surrounded by a couple of artisans. Giggs. Campo with the BP challenge. It uh, seemed perfectly okay, but Matt Messias didn't think so. Yeah, it's a poor decision. I thought Campo played the ball. Keane. Ainsen away by Jaidi only as far as Smith Scold midway through the first half no goals at the rebound yet Cleverson dramatic ball no foul Okocha through Campo speed Varnes and that was meant for Nolan We've done that a few times now, Bolton over hit a little ball down the line like that. There's a caught you with his very unique blend of skill. How do you read that? The problem sometimes is that his own teammates don't read it either. He's, well, he's one of those players, he doesn't know what he's up to. I mean, he, he can change his mind at the last moment and produce God, God knows what. Bolton's throat. I, Cleverson, I've commented on him already. I, I think he can do more. I think he can take more care with his passing and his control. And I think Giggs too. I think the two wide players from Manchester United are not giving him enough. That loft house, the great Bolton stalwart of what was it, the 40s and 50s, certainly the 50s anyway. But uh, one of the stands here, the one to the right as we look, is the Nat Loft House stand, and uh, he's a proud supporter still of his hometown club. Great centre forward. Do you even want to put uh, Ray Wood, the Manchester United goalkeeper, into the net to the cup final? You're a little older than me, but I think you might be right on that. I know, you're working around. 57? 58. I'll bow to you on that one as well. Now, there were a few guys in the hotel in Basel after the game who were wrecking our heads with questions I know you like the odd quiz questions as well but I'm sure if, if that statement wasn't correct uh, there'll be a letter in the mail from one of them Campo got the free kick Davis against Keane in answer. Campo on the way now, Okocha. Jaidi. Vares. Nolan coming around the back. Ainsa gets it away, but uh, the referee saw a push on the Bolton number four on the Manchester United number four. Free kick to Manchester United. That's about the first time Bolton have worked somebody into a bit of space to get a decent ball in. Barnes did just that. Good defender from Ainsa. And the little push was there for Nolan. Yeah, 
Sheedy, Apocha, Nolan, ain't turned the way. Throw into Bolton. time at Sainta who uh, gets a little bit of purchase on the uh, shoulders of Kevin Nolan so Bolton push their center forward center halves into center forward positions Jaidi up free kick swung in and Howard comes and makes a good catch Neville now. Scholes, Neville again. And Brown. Sylvester, Kane. Cleverson. Keane. Scholes. Barnes got just enough of a touch on it to take it away from Smith. Gotti, Neville beating Nolan, or Pedersen rather, it's Neville again, Scholes, now Keane, Smith, speed challenge, back to Smith, Smith given away, it's now Kocha, but there's only Pedersen as Davis ahead of him, so he has to hold it and wait for support, and support comes from Nolan, Nolan, the early ball in towards Davis. Opportunity lost. And what a ball as well from Nolan. That's a fantastic ball between defence and goalkeeper. It's crying out for Davis to get on the end of it. He's coming in from the left flank, but he just doesn't have the pace to be able to get there in time. He did try, but I mean, it was symptomatic, I think, of United's performance. Good possession, but they keep on wasting it when they get around the Bolton box. And from that, Akocha was able to break, and he held it up beautifully until Nolan supported Campo Nolan Campo again away by Brown Bolton throw Jaidi up again Kocha to take the throw. Howard's there with the fist. Oh! Hunt got right underneath it. Not to say that if it had been on target, it would necessarily have found a way past a cluster of bodies in there. It's a great ball in him. He might as well be taking a free kick. And Gary Speed was the one very good in the air, made the run across Howard and made it extremely difficult for him to get good purchase. It was difficult when it arrived at Hunt's feet. I think he thought he would have been seeing more chances today. Well, whatever about him and points in the ring, uh, Bolton are hardly ahead on points in this one. Okocha. Patterson couldn't control it, it's Brown. He has forced Brown into concession of the throw. 